Can a two-year-old have ADHD? This is a question that has been raised by numerous parents and caregivers around the globe. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, is more commonly diagnosed in school-age children. However, it's not unheard of for symptoms to appear in toddlers as young as two. Standard clinical guidance suggests that children under four should not be diagnosed with ADHD. Yet, these early years are not immune to the condition's telltale signs, hyperactivity, inattentiveness, and emotional dysregulation. ADHD in toddlers could manifest through extreme behaviors, emotions, and reactions. Interestingly, there's a noted correlation between chronic severe ear infections and ADHD. Similarly, research suggests a link between ADHD and induced labor during pregnancy. These correlations don't imply causation, but they do provide areas for further exploration in understanding this complex condition. So yes, while it's rare, it is indeed possible for a toddler as young as two to exhibit symptoms of ADHD. Understanding ADHD in toddlers can be a bit tricky as their behaviors, emotions, and reactions can be extreme even in a normal setting. At first glance, it might seem like typical toddler behavior, but there are certain signs that might suggest otherwise. One of the most common symptoms of ADHD in toddlers is hyperactivity. A toddler with ADHD might seem to be in constant motion, finding it hard to sit still even for a short period. They might also be excessively talkative, always on the move, and have difficulty playing quietly. Inattentiveness is another key symptom. A toddler with ADHD might have a hard time focusing on one task at a time. They might lose interest quickly and jump from one activity to another without finishing anything. Emotional dysregulation is a hallmark of ADHD in toddlers. This could manifest as negative emotionality where the child might have frequent emotional outbursts or seem unusually upset or frustrated. Low frustration tolerance is another sign where the child might get easily frustrated when things don't go their way. Trouble with transitions, such as difficulty shifting from one activity to another, is also common. It's also important to note that excess emotion, both positive and negative, is common in toddlers with ADHD. They might display intense joy and excitement one moment and intense frustration and sadness the next. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step towards understanding if your child might have ADHD. Having recognized the signs of ADHD in your toddler, you might be wondering, what's next? Well, early intervention is key. This doesn't necessarily mean medication, but rather, it involves understanding the condition and working towards managing it effectively. So why is early intervention so important? It can make a significant difference in your child's life. It can help your toddler develop essential skills, such as self-control, focus and social skills. Early intervention can also help reduce negative behaviors and promote positive ones. It can even help prevent complications in the future such as academic difficulties, social struggles and emotional issues. But early intervention isn't just about the child. It's also about you, the parents. Being informed and aware is crucial for managing your child's ADHD. It can help you understand your child's behavior respond effectively, and provide the right kind of support. So, remember, your awareness and understanding can make a world of difference for your child. If you're finding this content helpful, please hit the like button. Your likes and shares help us reach more parents who might be seeking this information. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of many toddlers and their families. Diagnosing ADHD in toddlers involves assessing core symptoms of inattentiveness and hyperactivity, as well as behavioral deficits. It's a complex process that calls for a comprehensive examination of the child's emotional, social, and developmental factors. This thorough assessment is crucial to rule out other conditions and to truly understand the child's experiences. Now, managing ADHD in toddlers is another journey altogether. It primarily involves family support, maintaining healthy habits, and behavior modification therapy. Remember, family support is more than just being there for your toddler. It's about understanding their condition, learning how to manage it, 
and fostering an environment that encourages positive interactions. Healthy habits like a balanced diet, regular sleep schedule and physical activity are also key in managing ADHD symptoms. And let's not forget about behavior modification therapy. This form of treatment is a cornerstone in managing ADHD as it helps toddlers develop better habits and coping mechanisms. Parental training also plays a significant role. By learning about ADHD and how to manage it, parents can better support their child and promote positive interactions. This in turn can lead to a healthier, happier home life for everyone involved. As your child grows, it's important to continue monitoring their behavior and seeking professional help when necessary. Remember, ADHD is manageable, and with the right support and treatment, your child can lead a healthy, happy life. Your role as part of our online community is vital. By subscribing to our channel and engaging with our videos, you help us reach more families who may be navigating the challenging waters of ADHD diagnosis and management. You are not just viewers, but active participants in raising ADHD awareness and promoting early intervention. So if you found our content helpful, we ask that you please subscribe and let us know in the comments. We are excited to hear from you and your experiences. Also, we encourage you to share these videos with those you think may benefit from them. In this way, we can all play a part in supporting families and individuals dealing with ADHD. Remember, your voice counts, and together we can make a difference. So, don't forget to subscribe and join our community today. We promise to respond to all comments on this video. Thank you for your support and remember, with the right knowledge and resources, managing ADHD is possible. Together, we can help children with ADHD lead happy, fulfilling lives.